Hi guys, welcome back to another video. What we're going to do today is take a look at putting custom firmware onto the PSP. We're going to choose the ARC4 custom firmware. So I'm going to show you how to do that. We're also going to do it without the need for a PC, doing it straight from the PSP. So first of all, make sure you've got a memory card inside with sufficient space on it. Secondly, what we want to do is check the firmware it's on at the moment. So to do that, go to System Settings and then System Information. As you can see, it's on 6.61. That's the firmware you want it to be on. If it's any lower than that, then you'll have to update that to 6.61 before you continue. So once you've looked at what firmware it's on, what you want to do now is connect it to the internet. So to do that, go down to Network Settings. Infrastructure mode, select your network, if you need to put the password in do that, go straight to the end and then X to save the settings. Test the connection just to make sure everything's okay with that. One thing to note when you're connecting it to your Wi-Fi it will only connect to a 2.4 GHz connection, it will not um, connect to the 5. Sometimes your router might not show the 2.4, in which case you would need to go into the router settings and enable that. The other way around about that would be to do a hotspot on your phone and connect that way. So now, so now that we've seen it's connected, we can go back. And now go to the Internet Explorer, Internet Browser, sorry. Go into there. And now you want to go to the address bar and type in the following address. So once you've entered that address, press Start. Or again, connect to your network. And that will bring us into this portal here. If you do need to upgrade your firmware, there is an option here to go in there and upgrade it to 6.61. You can also do it through the Sony server as well. Not sure if that's still up at this point in time, it should be. You can also do that through the Sony server also. So in this case we want to go to custom firmware. Select there. As you can see we've got a few options there. We want to select the ARC4 installer download. So highlight that and click that. Do you want to download this data? Select yes and let it do that. Ok now that the download is complete, come out of that and come out of the portal, close the browser down and now we want to go to the game folder and the memory stick and you'll now see this inside that folder so what we want to do is click Arc Installer and just let that run its course as well.
So that'll just go through everything itself and then come out the program itself. So once that's run, back to the game and into memory stick again. And we'll see different things here. So what we want to do is run them in the order they are. So first of all we'll run Dark Loader. Just let this run through what it's got to do. Back into the memory stick folder again. And now we want to run the second one, which is the Arc Full Installer. So you'll see some options here. You want to press X to install. And finally, go down to the Arc CIPL flasher and press X with that. Press X to install it. And this should restart automatically as well. So with that now we've been done, let's go just to the system information and check that. Everything's okay. There we are. As we can see the software version is now 6.61 Arc 4. And what's also good to do at this moment, unless there's anything on your memory card you want to keep, format the memory card and that'll clear all the folders we've downloaded onto it. Well done, that's your PSP now modded with the latest custom firmware on it. So well done, that's you now got a modded PSP with custom firmware. Thanks again for taking the time to watch. Hopefully this has helped someday out and we'll see you soon. Thank you, bye bye.